Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Good morning, Connecticut. When it comes to the holidays, it can be stressful and all that food we make and getting the house ready with the cleaning and the decorations. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to think about this laundry list because I have to do it. Showing us how to decorate our home and creating a family project is wedding and event planner Lisa Antonekia, Creative Concepts is Hello. the game. It's Lisa true. Antonekia is the name. It's true. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me back. Of I appreciate course. it. I, this looks gorgeous. I just want Thank to you. sneak this out and I can put this on my I table. I can be bought, Stephanie. <laughs> 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 um, how did you do this? So the idea behind this was perhaps taking the cornucopia that our grandmothers and great grandmothers used to put on the table and making a modern twist on it. I love it. So what we're using here are three wooden lanterns. You can see we're trying to use natural tones. You said earlier it's about the bounty, it's about the harvest. Yeah. Exactly, tie that all in. So we used layers. And you might notice that the objects on the table, a lot of them are edible. So we used kale, we used squash, we used um, purple, um, cauliflower, cauliflower, which I love. What a great idea. So pretty. And then we also use the seasonal carrots that come in purples and oranges and yellows and how vibrant and fabulous are those. And then we layered it with some flowers. So it's got lots of layers. Again, it has a wood base. We have moss. We have all different items. And you've got levels too. That's so important. Levels the... are huge. Yeah. Thank you for noticing that. And I think that it creates visual interest. I always also tell people you do things in threes. So you don't put four lanterns on the table, you put three lanterns or you put um, multiples of threes. Again, more visually interesting and it depends on the size of your space as well. Plus you can just eat your salad right off the table. You could eat your salad right off the table. So, the, but the other thing to remember too, that's awesome. Yes. The other thing do to remember, do, do not eat the center. Well, you could, yes, I mean, it depends on how much wine. But, um, <laughs> but then the other thing too is remember that these flowers are really not meant to last beyond the night. They're not in water. They're really been cut up. As a matter of fact, you simply take your stalk, you cut the little stems, and then you just insert them wherever you want within the centerpiece Perfect. for your accents. Beautiful. So that's um, that. I want to get over to the plate here. This yes. is such a nice family project. So I have two family projects here that are both under the same idea. You can hold you. that. Okay. So we have a piece of white paper. It's hard to see on camera, I'm sure, but it has a tree on it. And then the plate that you're holding, I drew that tree. And what I've asked the family to do is create your family tree. Now the the easiest way to do that is to take ink pads and you would use your thumbprint and the one that you have in front of you actually was done with little kids so and cute. they used their thumbprint to create the leaves on their family tree and mom and dad can get involved and so everybody in the family has their thumbprint on it. For the one that's on the larger piece of paper where the tree has been stenciled on, that's a really good opportunity for you to do something more of an actual tree of who is our great great grandmother, who is our great great grandfather, and really place your family history down. I find that at our family, Thanksgiving was the best time of year. We had the most amount of people in one place, so we could record our family history and really spend time celebrating who we are as a family. And it, you really, people get to learn things that they didn't know about the family. Absolutely. You hear the stories, you get the family history, which is so Absolutely. important. And you've seen the commercials, things like Ancestry.com and different things like that are so popular right now. But how about start with the basics and sit down and have a conversation about who your family was and what they contributed. I love I love it. Yeah. Family therapist, Lisa Antonekia. <laughs> no. Thank you so much, Thanks though. for this having me some back. Some great ideas. Everybody very can do it, so I'm enjoy. Just sneak one of Taking these away. Home. And to learn how to do this at home, just head to our website, WTNH.com. Just click on the on air tab and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section. 745, let's head over to Sam now with a look at the forecast. A good day to head out to the farm and pick up all these beautiful gourds, right, Sam? Today is the day. Tomorrow, not so much, unless you want to get uh, de dealing with what will be much more wintry type weather. 34, a little winter out there in Smith Cove. Nothing weird for this time of the day. We have lots of sunshine and beautiful weather. Another winter across Connecticut for today. We have been talking about that with a Wednesday all the way through Saturday time from this week has been great. Now we pay the price over the coming days. It's not there just yet though. Well, let's talk about what we have now. 37 Pawkatuck, 42 